In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Google AdSense account and then how to integrate your AdSense code into your WordPress site using one of my favorite AdSense plugins in the world. It has a lot of awesome features and all those features are free. There is a premium version that you don't really need because the free version offers so much stuff. Either way, I love this plugin and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. With that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start integrating AdSense into our WordPress site. I'll see you there. As you probably assume, before you can show AdSense code on your website, you have to have an AdSense account. And there is an application process. Not everybody is accepted. I believe there's even some countries in the world where it's not yet available, believe it or not. There's very few of them now, but there are still some, I believe. But to get an AdSense account or to apply for one, you have to go to adsense.google.com. You land on a page that looks like this. Look for a sign up now button. Currently it's right here. When you're watching this video, it might be somewhere else. But if you click on there, you then choose a Gmail address to associate your AdSense account with. Now each individual person is allowed to have one AdSense account. Each individual company is allowed to have one AdSense account. So you as an individual person can have one, but you could own five companies and each of those companies has their own. But you can't have multiple for one entity. So I currently have an AdSense account, so I can't get a second one, so I can't go through the whole process of applying, but I can show you the first few steps. So I'm just going to click on one of my Gmail accounts. As you can tell, I've got quite a few of them. Then we have to enter our website URL. I'm going to enter WP Learning Lab com. Let's get more out of AdSense section. They can send you customized suggestions to improve your performance, which is always a good idea because Google has a lot of data on ads and where ads are doing well on websites. So it's always good to have them suggest what will be good on yours because Google wants to make more money and they do that by being able to optimize everybody's ad placements. So they help you do that. Pick a country or territory. Pick the one where you are, obviously. I'm in Canada. Then you have to review the terms of service. You can read through there. Another important thing is that you can't show more than three ads on a page. That's a big thing in the terms of service. So you can't have more than one account per individual. You can't show more than three Google AdSense ads on a single page. After you've read that, or even if you haven't read it, click on yes, and then just click on create account to create your account. There is a bit of a time delay, it's not instant. It has to be approved by Google, so there's a certain number of days that it'll take, maybe even weeks, for them to get back to you. I'm not gonna click on create account because I already have one, and you don't wanna mess with Google policies because they will shut down your account without warning, without notice, without ways to appeal it. You're basically shut down and you can't open another one. So. Don't mess with their stuff, follow their policies. They make so much money, they don't care if they shut down a few thousand AdSense accounts here and there. So don't mess with their junk, is the bottom line. And once you're approved, you'll be able to log into your AdSense account by clicking the sign in link. Hang on, let me go back to the homepage. Sign in link here, and you'll be able to get your AdSense code from your AdSense account. Then with that code, there's a whole bunch of codes actually. So you can create different ad sizes depending on where you want it to be on the page. They walk you through it, they help you create that because the easier they make it for you, the more likely they are to get paid. So they're gonna make everything easy if they're getting paid. And once we have that AdSense account in place, we need to install a plugin, which is called AdSense Integration WP Quads. It's gonna type in AdSense Integration in the search. There are lots of plugins you can try, ones that you feel you want to try. This is the one that I use for a bunch of reasons, which you'll see in just a second. Back up your site before you install it. Before you install any plugin, back up your site. I'm going to click on install now because this is the demo site, so I don't really care if it breaks. But if this is your live site, make sure you back it up. Then install it and click activate. Now once activated, we see this message. There's a huge update to WP Quads, which is great. Okay, close notice. There is a premium version to WP Quads, which we just passed by. Here's another ad for it. So there's a free version and a premium version. I just use the free one because it does everything that I need it to. If there's something that you'd like this plugin to do that it doesn't do because it's the free version, check out the premium. Maybe that has what you need. 
most AdSense plugins do offer premium versions with more features. So there's no getting around that, just how it is. And in the settings area is where we can do some pretty cool stuff. I'm just gonna close this notice, get two notices saying no ads are active. We'll get to that in a little bit, but the reason I like this plugin a lot is the ad positioning capabilities. So very first, number of ads on a page. If you're using AdSense, limit it to three. Like I said, only three ads per page if you're doing AdSense. This plugin allows you to do all kinds of other code as well, because there's a lot of AdSense competitors out there. And you can even do affiliate links to places like ClickBank or Amazon or Share a Sale or Commission Junction. You can use this plugin to do all of those things. And for those, of course, you can have as many ads per page as you want. They don't really have terms of service for that. But with Google, it's three. So if you're doing AdSense, choose three. And this is where the magic happens. So the ad positions, you can check this box and you can assign, you create the ads by going, which we'll do in, in a minute, by going to the AdSense code here, we can create ads. So there'll be ad one through 10 with content in them, ads in them. But if we check this box, our chosen ad goes at the beginning of a post. If you check this box, we can choose a different ad to go at the middle of a post. Check this box. Maybe you want a random ad at the end of the post. Or you want to have the ad appear after the more tag, which is a link in your posts. Some themes have this, some don't, where people can click on more to read more. You can have it right before the last paragraph on a page. You can also assign after which number of paragraphs to have it. So this one, in this case, after however many paragraphs you have, maybe you have 50 paragraphs or maybe even 100. So after paragraph 50, this ad will show, or the random ads, whatever, whichever one you pick. Or you just check this box, and then if there are fewer than 50 paragraphs, the ad just shows at the end of the post. And then these next three, or next two, sorry, are the same thing. So you can have after paragraph seven, and then after paragraph 16, and after paragraph 35. And you only want to check, if you have all these set, you only want to check one of these at end of post options, because then you'd have, if, if you have less than seven paragraphs, you'd have three ads right at the end of the post, which you may not want. So last option here, you pick an ad and have it after an image, which is also pretty cool. So this is the main reason I like this plugin, because you have all this flexibility in where to place the ad. You don't have to place them manually in every post, which back in the day you did, and it was a real pain, now it's all automated, which is awesome. Visibility, you can choose to have the ads show or not show on the homepage, category listings, archives, and tags listings. The check means it'll show there. If you uncheck, it means it won't show there. You can hide the ad widgets on the homepage. This plugin comes with widgets that you can put in the sidebar. You can hide them on the homepage. You can hide them when users are logged in. For example, you could sell maybe a $5 a month membership where you take away the ads. Some major websites do this where you pay a certain number of dollars and then you can browse the ad free version, but they have to pay monthly and then log in. So you can hide ads for logged in users. Here you can choose where the ad types will be visible. Posts and pages are the main ones, but custom post types also appear in here. At least sometimes it depends how they're coded, but posts and pages for sure are listed in here. And then the quick tag buttons, those are in the HTML editor. So if you head into, so since we're allowing them on pages, it'll appear in here. We have right here, random ads, no ads. So if we click on one of these tags, this is where a random ad will appear. So you could be writing your content here. This is paragraph one, have a random ad appear. Paragraph two, have a random ad appear. You can even choose the no ads, which means if there's a spot where an ad would normally appear, you can have it not appear. So if you set your settings to say after paragraph one, you have an ad automatically, you can add the no ads to make the ad disappear from there, which is pretty handy stuff. So those are the basic placement settings for the plugin. There are some more settings over here in the plugin settings, which are also very useful. So the priority load time of 20, just leave that how it is. The remove menu button, if you check this box, it will move these options under the settings menu. So I'll take them out of the sidebar, put them in the settings just for a cleaner sidebar. Check this box if you want to delete all the data when you delete the plugin. What that means is if you leave the data and you reinstall the plugin in the future, you'll have all that data there already. 
all your settings and all your ads are already in the database. If you delete the data, then your database will be cleaner. So if you ever think you might reinstall it in the future, you might want to keep it. It's up to you. Debug mode, check this box if there are problems with the plugin. If there's bugs and something's not working right, this will help you troubleshoot those issues. And then the most important part is the AdSense code. The tab's called AdSense code, but you can really put any kind of code in here. So if we open Add 1, we see we can use plain text, HTML, CSS, so we can get code from any affiliate site, any affiliate site, any pay-per-click site, any commission-based site, put the code right in here. If you want to do AdSense, you have to check this AdSense box. You can paste the AdSense code into here, but then it doesn't render right sometimes. So make sure you click on AdSense if you want to use AdSense. Click this button to copy and paste the code in. I'm going to paste it right in here. I'm just going to grab some AdSense code from my AdSense account and put it in here so we can see how it works. So here I have my AdSense code, just going to paste it in. This is just pulled right from the AdSense site. And the type is uh, it is detected as responsive, but only the Quads Pro version uses the responsive or allows you to use the responsive ad size. So I'm just going to choose fixed size and make the size 150 by 150. I'm going to choose the default as centered, margin 10 pixels. And here we have more settings that are allowed on the Pro plugin. You can choose to disable this ad on different types of devices if you want to by checking those boxes. But again, that's only the Pro. Activate on AMP, which is the Google Accelerated Pages. Just keep that activated. Why not? Then click on Save Changes. And now we have our first ad in place. So if we head back to our general positioning, and I'm just gonna set this to add one at the beginning of a post. Then click on Save Changes. Now we're gonna load a post to see if that ad shows up. So I'm just gonna open a post, and in all honesty, it probably won't actually show the ad because when you install an AdSense code within the first little while, first couple hours even, there are no ads being shown because Google first comes and analyzes your site and then presents ads that match your site content if it has them in the inventory. So as you know, I just installed it. My pages don't have a lot of content, so Google's not gonna really know what my site's about and have trouble displaying ads for that. However, I set it to show a background color when the ad can't be displayed and that background color is this. So this is the ad block, which is at the beginning of the post. And to prove this to you, I'm just going to move this ad block to the end of the post. So come back in here, turn this off, put ad one at the end of the post, save changes, come back out here, refresh this page, and it's going to come after I like movies. That's at the end of the post. We can also inspect it. And we see that is our ads by Google class right here. Our publisher ID that I have grayed out for security reasons, but that is our ad block. And this is where an ad would show or will show once Google has interpreted the page and decided what to put there. The last big plugin feature I'm going to show you is putting an ad into a widget in the sidebar. We have to go back to the ad settings and then go to widgets ad code. Then we have to create a widget ad by just click on any one of those. I'm going to choose AdSense again, paste the code and it's going to use the one that I used earlier. Click on get code, type, just fix size, make it 200 by 200. Put it on the left, 10 pixel margins. Click on save changes. And now that we have at least one widget ad type saved, we can go to appearance and then widgets. And now we have ads widget one right here. If we have other ad widgets, it'd be ads widget two, ads widget three, etc. So we can put this up into the widget area and that's the only option there is, just drag and drop. And it pulls the ad from the code that you entered and all the settings are done in that plugin settings area. Unfortunately, the theme that I currently have, I don't have a sidebar in place, so we can't see that sidebar ad. So I'm just gonna quickly switch themes and then show you how the sidebar ad works. So I'll be right back. So I'll switch themes, I'm gonna refresh this page. Hopefully the sidebar will be there. And so the ad will appear here. What's this generating ads? If I inspect element, even though it's white, this theme is just blocking out the background color that I use, but you can see the ads by Google right here. And if we inspect this area right here, we can also see ads by Google right here. And there's also another feature, this ad check link at the top. You can check on that. 
and it says WP Quads is working fine, show adverts, and it shows them there. So again, the reason my ads aren't showing in this case is we just installed the plugin, just installed the ads in the site, and Google doesn't have much content to go off of on this page to show ads, which is usually not that important. What's most important is it needs some time to actually adjust and try to figure out what to put on the page, and sometimes it takes a couple hours for that to happen. But if your ads aren't showing up after a couple hours, something went wrong. They should be there within a few hours. And those are the main features of this free version of the plugin. And that's all you really need is the free version. All those ad placements, you can really easily add AdSense code wherever you want on your page and even code for other affiliate programs, commission programs, pay-per-click programs, whatever you want, you can add with that plugin, which is pretty awesome. That's how easy it can be to integrate Google AdSense into your WordPress site once you have your account approved by Google. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side over here so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.